Okay, it's starting to rain, but I want to come out here real quick and cut some of this okra down that I've let go to seed and let it go inside and finish drying out. So let me cut some real quick. There's sprinkles of rain falling right now. This was really some good okra. And it rode about eight foot tall. I'm gonna try to get as many seeds as I can and save them. Okay, Marie, it's starting to rain pretty hard, so you can go ahead and go in. I'll finish getting these. Hey, everyone, I'm back. I've got some of this okra that I cut off the stalks a few days ago, right before the rainstorm. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and get the seeds out so that we can save the seeds. So let me get the camera turned down here where I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, basically what you do, you just take the, the okra and cut the tip end off of it. And it's pretty tough okra after it's dried out like this. After you get the tip end cut off, you can just take the okra and separate it here and let the seed just roll right out. Take a few minutes to do them all, but let me go ahead and do it. I'm going to try to save as many seeds as I can this year. Uh, this was some good okra. This is the Clemson spineless okra. And it was growing eight foot tall and really produced a lot of okra. So I was talking to my neighbor across the street, Mr. Blair, and he told me to save as many seeds as I could. So I'm going to be sure and get plenty of seeds this year. But that's basically all there is to it. You just cut the tip end off. It can be a little tough. Get it opened up. Let the seed just roll right in there. Looks like I'm going to be picking up a few as they jump around everywhere. <laughs> there they are. On this one, the Small end does cut off easier, and then just take the tip of it there and spread it apart so that the look, the okra seeds will just roll right out. My hand may be in the way, I don't know if you're seeing them come out or not. There you go. But just open it up and let them roll right out. I'll do another one right quick. The bigger they are, the more seeds I have in them. I tried to let them stay on out there as long as I could and let them get big so we could get a lot of seeds. Okay, that's all there is to it. So let me keep working on this and after I get them all, all the seeds out of all of them, I'll come back to you. Okay, it does seem to work a lot better just to cut that end off and then it's a little harder to open them up, but they'll still just roll right on out for you. I've just about got all of them finished and I guess this is what you call harvesting your okra seeds. 
we're going to end up with quite a few seeds here. I just need to put them in some bags and get them stored up. And we will have quite a few. I'm sure we'll be sharing them with some other people. I know this okra sure was good this year. We've still got some in the freezer that we froze. But uh, it produced so much okra that it amazed me. So I definitely want to save these seeds to be able to use again next year. Okay, this is the last one. You can see what I'm doing here. Okay, that's it. Okay, just look at all those okra seeds that we got there. Okay, there's all the seeds after I got them bagged up. And I'm going to put them on the scales and weigh them. Got nine ounces of seeds. That's quite a few okra seeds. Quite a few okra seeds. Uh, I'll be glad to share some of these with some other people. Anyway, thanks for watching our video. I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And my wife is Marie. She's uh, busy this morning doing some other things in the house. And she just wanted me to tell everyone hello for her. But we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. And everyone have a blessed day.